Hi everybody, it's Diane. Well, this is just another piece of Art Studio app uh, tutorial um, showing you how to do another little something in Art Studio, especially pertaining to My Singing Monsters. Um, we're going to go to File. I, I've got an image here, so here's my image. Uh, this is the canvas size I've got is a 1000 high, or what? Well, 1000 width and 1200 uh, pixels high uh, and I did create an image that's transparent so we can create our stickers so to speak or our PNG uh, pictures so I'm going to go to file import insert as a layer import from photos now uh, my friend on Twitter Fung Prey Lover um, asked me to show him how to create a monster holding a sign so of course I know he'd love to learn how to do a Fung Prey holding a sign so let's oops 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 well gee import insert a layer photos these are my folders filled with monsters I'm crazy filled with monsters good grief um, there's Fung Prey. All kinds of stuff I've created here. Uh, we're going to go to Edit, Transform Layer, Move and Scale. So there we go. We've got a Fung Prey. Apply. I'm going to go find a, a sign that we made for Fung Prey earlier. Um, import, insert as a layer, import from photos. Um, <clears throat> there's our Fung Prey sign. Okay, so there's Fung Prey Lover sign. It's kind of long and narrow, so um, might be a little bit hard to work with, but let's see what we can do. Okay, here's, um, I just chose Fung Prey as my active layer because I'm going to duplicate him. Layer, duplicate. And I'm going to actually put um, the sign in between two layers of Fung Prey. So now I've got Fung Prey, Sign, Fung Prey. Um, so now I'm going to play with the sign a little bit and kind of get it into position where I approximately want to see it um, to be. So I'm going to go to Edit, Transform Layer, Move Scale, Rotate. So I'm thinking underneath his arm a little bit. Um, yeah, maybe something like that. Apply. But it's a very tiny sign, and his arms are going to cover that up. We're going to distort that sign. We're going to go to Edit, um, Distort, and we're going to just do horizontal only. I'm just going to make it a little bit um, bigger here. Um, so you'll also notice that when I'm distorting it at an angle, it's distorting it straight down because I told this um, horizontal only to uh, do it in that fashion. So that's kind of a cool way to change your sign to uh, something that's, you know, facing in a different direction. So that worked out pretty cool. There's a little plus mark in the middle. I can actually move that sign into another position um, using this. Okay, so I'm going to actually um, take that horizontal off and then distort the sign even further. I think I'm going to um, make it appear larger on this end and smaller on this end. Oh, my horizontal. Free move. Sorry. Okay, so let's Okay, that's looking pretty good. Move it up. Let's see where do I want his arms to fall on this sign here. All right, well, let's try that. Okay, okay. so uh, now what we're going to do is take the active layer to the top, Fung Prey, and we're going to start erasing. Oops, yeah, 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 yeah. undo, undo is my friend, 
eraser. Um, and I'm going to start erasing uh, Fung Prey. Just that top layer. So anywhere there's the Fung Prey behind, you'll notice it doesn't erase because there's that Fung Prey behind there. So I'm going to erase up to his elbow and his arm, because I want his arm to be over the top of the sign. And I'll make my tip a little bit smaller as I need to get into a little smaller nook and crannies here. Um, I want the sign to come um, so it looks like it's underneath his arm, so I'm going to erase here, down to that little corner in his elbow here. And you'll notice, of course, see here I'm not erasing, but I, my active layer is that top fung prey, not the bo bottom fung prey. So it doesn't erase the bottom fung prey. So that's a pretty cool way to work with these photos. Okay, so there his elbow is over the top of the sign. Um, I think I want to um, have the sign showing here as well. And again, when I move off of the sign, wherever that... Fung Prey is behind the sign, does not erase. Okay, so there Fung Prey is holding the sign. Um, let's um, maybe erase this part and just see what that looks like. We can do undo if we want to bring that back, but... This way it kind of looks like he's got it gripped between his two arms. Yeah, hey, that looks pretty, pretty darn, pretty darn awesome. Uh, it looks like he's actually holding that sign. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to do a um, uh, file, export, PNG, export to photos. And now we've just created a new sticker of Fung Prey holding a sign um, that says Fung Prey Lover. Um, if you wanted to uh, do this again and save pieces, you could uh, actually uh, hide these two and say, okay, I'm going to save this as a piece. Um, and then we'll go to uh, File, Export, PNG, Export to Photos. And next time you want to have Fung Prey with his arm over on top of something, this front arm piece, uh, you've got it saved and you don't have to erase it again later. Um, and it will match up to uh, this guy. So let's export this bottom Fung Prey. Um, and so that's my active layer. We're going to go to File, Export, PNG, Export to Photos. So next next time I bring up Fung Prey and I want to um, have him holding something, I'll have that arm I can use in any way I'd like. Is that pretty awesome? Yeah. Um, the other thing that you can do is let's show all pieces again. Okay, so now I've got these three pieces. I really like uh, the, way the, the way they're placed together, but maybe I want them a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, this grouping. Um, I can actually do that little, uh, there's a little chain link, a link that links each picture, locks them together. And now with those three pieces, pictures selected, I can actually uh, uh, move them together as one unit. I'm going to go here to File, Transform, Move Scale, Rotate, 
And now all three pieces, they're not merged together, but I can move them some, to some another place on my picture. And I don't want to merge them together because maybe I wanted to, you know, work with another picture that I wanted to place something else in there too. So I don't want to merge them together yet, but I wanted to move it to someplace else in my picture. So that's a great way to move a whole group from one page to another. Um, apply. Um, so, okay, that's fun. Um, Fung Prey Lover holding a sign. Looks pretty darn awesome. Um... I'm really having fun uh, showing you guys how to work with some of these uh, things in the Art Studio app. I know I've really enjoyed uh, creating these things, and um, I'm going to have fun seeing some of your creations. Um, hopefully, I'm inspiring you to make some fun, cool things. I'd like to see those things. Um, so that's it for now. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye now.